good start yes i see some pluses and then the next step please write uh, from which city you are country city london wow moscow romania berlin germany riga wow istanbul so wow a lot of people from around the world everybody hello to everybody so i'm very excited today to see all the, these people from around the world. So I will give my best. I try to give my best, please. Um, if you uh, see some mistake in my language, this is my third language. Please uh, um, excuse me in the front, but I will try my best. And um, yeah, let's uh, start. So in this presentation, I want to speak about the trading chance in October and November. But the most important point is I want to show you the method how to find such changes by yourself if you use this technique. So first of all, let's speak about for um, which people this webinar is good. So if you are professional who would like to generate additional income with the financial mark on the part time basis because I use swing trading based on daily basis, on daily chart, on daily um, candles, and therefore you can use it as a part-time trading. Entrepreneurs and self-employed who wants to invest their profits, also this webinar will uh, be good. Traders with the aim to increase their own performance. Investors who take risk management seriously. Options trader who wants to reach a new level want to put capital management by own hands, trading UB, maybe on some, um, yeah, on some points, it would be a little bit confusing, but I think also for people who are newbie on and no trading experience would be interesting how it works. So some people are wrong here. If you want to have quick success without doing anything for it, uh, you are wrong here. Already know everything anyway. Those people the same. Have better results than we do. Blame others, but never themselves. And only wants to have fun. So please don't spend your time on this webinar and enjoy your um, life um, Yeah, another way. So some game rules for these webinars. Our goal is that you get maximum benefit from these webinars. So a snapshot duration of these webinars is 60 minutes. We have no break and the questions, uh, I will answer the questions at the end of the webinar. So best work environment, please um, check or switch off your smartphone. It's very important because it will interrupt you. Use headset, prepare drinks. So where's my drink? So I have my drink here too. So then um, let your family know you have webinar in the next 60 minutes. Documentation, prepare paper and pen, check the battery on your notebook. Be active, ask questions, indicate technical malfunctions, communicate suggestions for improvement, and leave comments in chat. So, risk disclosure. So everybody knows we should uh, um, inform everybody that what I show here is only for education. This is not, um, I do, I not say buy or sell something. This is not uh, um, selling or buying recommendation only for education purpose. Please read this again. And um, yeah, and uh, be careful on the capital market because uh, the risk is very high if you if you use the trading. Please be aware of that. So then let's start. So short uh, snapshot about myself. My name is Max Schultz. So 2017, first interest in the stock market during my studies. 
my one of my professors uh, are interested on stock market and he was very interested he was very active and taught a lot about trading and so and um, yeah and this point i was um i understood that this is maybe interesting topic and i began to study the market stock market trading everything what i got in my hands i read and um, try to implement but i was not successful in the beginning so then 2010 i finished my study uh, so and uh, 2014 after i finished my study i start to work in a company I got a good salary, um, so I started to, uh, to work in a big company in Germany. This was a commodity producer that produced sugar, um, and uh, I got some salary. This salary was good enough to invest uh, or to have money to invest in education. I did it first step. I invested in education because the idea was I have to have skills. If I want to start to with real money, I have to invest to have skills at first not after i start to trade with real money then 2016 i had some uh some success in trading so i decided to quit my job so and uh, i started the trading block because the swing trading based on cut report is um, very very time saving so i had a lot of free time during the day and uh, I decided to start a block, so to have also some uh, some to do during the day. And uh, there on this block, I posted them. Then all trading plans and trading results. I do it until now, so it should be uh, it should be correct to come. But it's no matter. So 2017, I had a dream to start or uh, to take a part in the World Cup Championship of Futures Trading because uh, Larry Williams for me is a I don't so this is a big uh, uh, trader so and um, yeah my dream was to take part in this competition too I did it first time and I got third place with a performance return of 111 percent and if you see on this number one 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 maybe it's a third place but if you see the number it was a one this it was the first place <laughs> so that's no drug so and then 2000 2018 i had uh, a break because we got a first child it was uh, very interesting and everything very exciting so and i took a break from trading uh, on the um, world cup championship but i traded for a living so my big account so and then 2019 i was back and again third place but this time with a bigger performance 100 65 percent return and 2000 uh, last year so uh, this war so and uh, this year um i took a part again but it was uh, last year but uh, this is not the um world cup championship of futures training this is derivat cup championship it, it began first june so last year and ended 30 may this year and I got five, five place with a performance of 78%. So I do it again and again, and uh, I will do it also in the future because this is very important point to my students. They see that uh, I um, can repeat this success. And so they have a lot of confidence in the trading strategy. And that's very important, especially if you have drawdown. So let's start. This is a main account. Uh, so I added last year the second strategy to have diver to diversify diversification. Yeah, to have diversification on the strategy level. So and uh, now we got about seventy seven seven hundred. Yes, yeah, seven hundred thousand dollars. So and uh, the start point was two thousand fourteen with a amount of fourteen thousand dollars. So this is a performance of eight years uh, trading, swing trading um, based on CUT report on daily basis. So let us start with the idea. So we saw this year a super trend in natural gas, and it was a big opportunity to win in, uh, so it was a big opportunity to 
um, make profit or to, yeah, to make profit. And this trend uh, was $35,000 worth. So, and, uh, but um, it is why I show it now, because <laughs> the trend is already there and uh, I show it it post factum so but this is i want i don't want to show you or to tell you about the opportunities in the past i want to show you the opportunities and the future so let's start with um, the next next um, so next picture so the question is what does natural gas have to do with the grid so in this question I want to answer because if you understand that we will see next opportunity so then so if you you see on this picture that for some fertilizers the uh, producers needs a lot of natural gas they use 80 percent of the gas as a raw material and 20% of the gas to heat the process to generate electricity. So it means for fertilizer, some fertilizer, a lot of gas, natural gas is used. And we saw what I showed before, a big trend in natural gas. And the logic is very simple. If we have price increase in natural gas, then we will see price increase in fertilizer. And we see this on, on the right chart. On the right chart, you see the price for fertilizer and the price increased a lot since 2020 or the middle of 2020, last two months, the price increased a lot. So, and when the price for fertilizer increased, the price for some grains in some grains will increase too. And which grains I mean? I mean the grains uh, for producing the grains, their farmer needs a lot of fertilizers. So let, let's take a look on the other picture, which grains there are. So two graphs that use the most fertilizer per Occur to produce a good crop are the corn market and the rice market. So we have two crops, corn and rice. And if we go back to last chart, we can say, okay, if the price for natural gas increased, the price for fertilizer increased, and then in the next step, the price for corn and rice should increase too. So in the next picture, I want to show you the countries who used the most uh, um, fertilizers, nitro nitrogen fertilizers, um, most uh, um, for producing of rice or of uh, corn. And you see on the first place is United States, States, and the second place is China, and then Argentina, and then Brazil. In these car countries, we have a lot of um, uh, producing area of, of for example, um, rice and corn. And so we can understand that these countries used a lot, lot of fertilizer and uh, because they produce a lot of corn and rice. So then we have some points to understand uh, or to um, some points uh, that we can say, okay, if we have this relationship, then we should see in the future higher prices for rice and for corn. Because if the fertilizer getting expensive, then the farmer should decide to reduce the part of fertilizing and then the amount of um, uh, of grains should decrease. So, or she, he decided to, um, instead of rice, for example, 
to use soybeans on tire fields or to produce soybeans instead of um, instead of rice or instead of corn. And uh, these all points, you can see also this point here on this uh, chart, um, so on the screen, and all these points have a big impact on the price of corn and rice. So the price of corn and rice should increase in the next future. And here we see an opportunity to or trading chance in this market. So people who follow us for a while knows that we are traded based on COT report. So in the next step, we should uh, ask ourselves uh, what is about COT data? What show us the COT data? So we have also some COT signals. So we have this in our uh, membership. So on this table, but if you take a look at this chart, you see that we have in corn COT index um, by 89%. So this is very high. You will see it again in the chart in the next step. So we have now a buy signal in corn market. In rice market now is not enough uh, the signal is not strong from a COT report side. We will see it. So let's take a look on weekly, on monthly chart of corn. So we see here corn monthly chart, and we see also COT index uh, based on commercial net positions. And we see that we had a big, huge trend upside. So now we see downward trend. This is a correction of this big trend. And the COT index is in the buy zone. So from the side of COT data, we have here bullish setup. Let's take a look to the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, you see that the technical analysis shows that we have here triangle. I I, I hope the pronunciation were, was correct, but you see it also on the chart. And most of the time, if the price comes over, so it means the correction is uh, ended, uh, the correction ended, and we will see here, uh, we will see higher prices. So let's take a look to weekly chart of rice. In rice weekly chart, we see already a smooth upward trend. We don't see a big uh, trend, but uh, it could happen in the next future if our analysis is correct. So from the side of COT data, we have now no, uh, not bites on, not sells on. So neutral, uh, this is not extreme zone in uh, by COT data, but it can change in the next future. Therefore, we should uh, um, take a look on this, on the COT report on a weekly basis. So every week we got new COT data. And then from if we um, read this COT data, we will see if, um, if uh, commercials are in extreme position. Most of the time, this is the beginning of new trend. So, and the next step, I want to show you on one real trading example, how we did it in natural gas. So we started to analyze the natural gas on weekly chart. We do it, uh, uh, we do it every time, we do it again and again, because our start point um, is weekly chart. But this time, the start point not was not the technical analysis on the weekly chart or something else or COT data. It was extreme weather event. So we had very hot summer this year. So and if we have very hot summer, a lot of people use conditions. So I use condition two. So I should switch off. So a lot of people use conditions. And uh, the conditions spent a lot of electricity. 
And there are a lot of countries who use electricity to produce, who use a natural gas to produce electricity. So therefore, uh, this summer was spent a lot of natural gas and the demand, um, the uh, demand of natural gas increased and the price increased too. So we see that on the weekly chart. But the first step was extreme weather event. So and now it's is the point that is very important to understand. I told it in the beginning of this presentation. I can show you a chance, trading chance in the near future. But most important, if you understand the method, method, how I uh, use or how I find this change in the market. And the start point is, in this case, extreme weather event. So if we have extreme weather event, we should understand which market should, which market will um, be, will have impact from this extreme weather event. And if we know relationship between extreme weather events and the market price, we will find a lot of trading opportunities or trading chances. And this is my goal for 2022 to build a data database or data bank to um, collect in this data bank this relationship between extreme weather or extreme event. It not should be uh, not should uh, uh, be a weather. It could be also other extreme extreme events, and then to see on this data bank the market or the, to see the impact to other market and most of the time we see a delay so if we have somewhere extreme weather so then we see a delay maybe sometimes a week sometimes a month and we see also impact in other market with a delay so we have enough time to prepare for a new trend for example, if you know, okay, the summer is hot, so it's uh, and uh, natural. They use natural, a lot of natural gas to produce electricity. So, and we see on the weekly chart also a very strong trend. And the COT data shows we have here bullish setup. Then we have a situation that we have a situation of a beginning of new trend. But the first shot is extreme event so and for me it's very important that you understand the um this method or this algorithm because uh, um this is this is very very um i think this is very very strong analysis strong technique to find uh, to find trading opportunities or to find markets in the beginning of big trends. So let's speak about this uh, trade in natural gas. So we uh, had extreme weather events, hot summer. So then we have we had COVID and a lot of um, supply chains was interrupted uh, because COVID. Then in the next step, we uh, checked the COT report and we saw, okay, commercials are in extreme position, you see that also on the screen, on the soup chart, commercial index is in the pie zone. And on the next step, we checked also seasonal trend and we see also the seasonal trend is increasing. So then we have on the weekly chart a good setup. And then we say, okay, we can take this market on our watch list. And then on the next step, we should analyze a daily chart and there we use technical analysis to find an entry point. So here um, we um, should see on the daily chart because we, if we have an extreme event, uh, most of the time we have also a good weekly trend. So, and then if we go to the daily trend, so on the daily trend, we see a small correction or already the trend is in the same direction as the weekly trend. But here we saw first of all 
after August. So um, in August, we saw some correction. So on, we tried to go into the market. The, our timing was wrong. We were stopped out. So then correction of the market ended. And then we saw that the price increase again. So we saw the beginning or the continue of upward trend. And then we decided to go into the market again. So we did it. So you can see that on the chart. And uh, um, if we speak about the points or about the steps, first step is we should see on the daily chart is rising uh, trend according to the market technique. Or we should see on the daily chart that the trend is rising uh, or the trend is going in the same direction as weekly trend. This is very important. Then we can say, okay, the trend is continued. So correction is over. Then the price should be above 80 moving average. We use 80 moving average for trends um, to understand if um, the trend on the daily basis is uh, uptrend or um, downtrend. We use a simple technique, 80 moving average. And if the price is above 80 moving average, we say, okay, the correction is over. We uh, see here the movement in direction of the trend. So, and then we can say, okay, we are looking for entry pattern. So we did it here. So the price was about 80 moving average. So the trend continued to um, upside. So in the same direction as weekly trend. And then we decided to go into the market. You can use here different technique. You can use here also very simple technique like, um, like, like, like a trend technique. So I, so I try to drive, draw. So for example, you see we have here correction. So then at this point, you can say, okay, the correction is over. Then the market, so we, we see the, the trend here, this trend continue. Here at this point, we have uh, some confirmation. So, and then we have, we had a little, little small correction. So, and then we went into the market on this point, if the correction ended and the trend continued. So, you know, this technique, this is a um, trend technique. So you can go on this point, if the trend, on this point, you have trend confirmation. And on this point, you could put in your entry order. Max, sorry, uh, the participants cannot see the drawing. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 but um, um, could you see my mouse? N no. Yes. Yes. Now you now you yes. can see yes okay yes so we have here upward trend so now you can see okay yes okay nice 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 so. There are so are some instruments here in the Zoom, uh, what I can use for drawing. Okay. So we have here an upward trend. Then we had here a correction. So, and at this point, we can say, okay, the correction is ended. So, so and then we had here small correction. So we have here confirmation that the trend on daily basis continues. So, and we use this small correction to go into the market we put our entry here on this point. And this is a trend technique. I think everybody knows this technique. So at this point, you have confirmation of trend continue. So, and you can use this point to go into the market. Yeah, this is, I think this is very, uh, yeah, very public technique. So as you can see, we decided to go out of the market a little bit early. So then the market on the next day, they increase a lot. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, situation like this happens in the market. So I'm not a perfect uh, a boy. And I think to, um, to look for a perf perfection on the, uh, in trading is a wrong way. So 
here is a very important point. We earned money here. And if you do 500 trades based on COT data, so like me, uh, you will have a situation like this often. So, but uh, it's also sometimes if I look at this chart, is, I smile a little bit because on the next day, a huge up, uh, up movement, but it happens. So we did it again also on the, so I should, yeah, so I know how, how I can, uh, okay. I don't know how I can delete it, but I tried. So clear. Okay, clear all drawings now. Yeah. So we do, we did it again. So in the same same trend, it was the same market, natural gas. It was same setup on the weekly basis uh, basis, and we waited on the daily chart uh, next opportunity to go into the market. So also we used the correction. And uh, because the volatility was very high here, we decided to stay in market only two days. Our target was time target, two days, and we decided to uh, go out of the market after two days. And uh, you see the exit was here right. <laughs> here, here the exit was not uh, correct, but the exit here was right. But um, yeah, this is trading. So, uh, And uh, this time we were in the market with uh, more than one contract and the profit is about $3,230. So, but also the same technique here, rising the trend according to the rising the trend. So correction is over, price above 80 moving coverage, entry pattern in place. So let's take a look to the next chart. The combination of COT data and weather for forecast is very strong technique, but this is very difficult to analyze the weather. So it's not easy because you should know a lot of information. You should analyze a lot of information. Um, it's very tough, but um, um, Alex Kasparite, for example, this is a guy who completes our coaching. So this guy uh, is very su successful in this field. Uh, so now he is in our team, he is, he, um, this guy analyzed the better um, data. So because he is, uh, um, he has good skill in that. So he developed this skill. So, and his own performance is also very incredible. So less than one year, he increased his trading account from 100,000 to over 240,000. So, and uh, he did not so much trades. So, um, less much less trades that uh, i do on my trading account so he um he's he used weather and cut that as a combination to find very good setups on the weekly chart to find the market with high probability for new trend and he did only one trade or he um yeah he did only one trade in one market and uh, but was in this market longer period so so, and this technique is also very successful. So um, now we have from his side confirmation from his trading results, also confirmation that the combination of COT data and weather is very strong technique. So, and this is why I try to, um, to focus you on this point that you should understand the method. So if you understand the method, the right combination of COT data and weather, you will find a lot of trading opportunities. So I have good news if uh, we can do it. So if I can do it so successful, if uh, Philip or uh, Alex can um, can do it, uh, you can do it too. Uh, especially uh, my case, I'm average person. I was average in the school in, in university. So, and if I can do it, you can do it too. So now I have five steps. So for you, with these five steps, um, I should, this is the right way to the trading success. So, and first step is get familiar with swing trading according to COT report. So, because in my case, this was a successful way. And there is a lot of different ways to trading success. So, and maybe other ways are also so successful. I don't know, but my way was through COT report. And you are here and you are listening to 
guy who trade who trade who are traded based on CUT data on CUT report, and you decided maybe um, to uh, focus this trading uh, style, so this trading technique, and I can say you. This is you are lucky because when I started there on the market on internet in internet on YouTube there was so many techniques so many setups so many directions uh, how to trade how to deal the market how to analyze the market and I was worried so and uh, one first important point uh, of very right decision what I made in the past I told to myself so you should focus only on one thing if you focus only on one thing and you do it correct so you will be successful because to try this and this and this and then try a um, lot of different strategy in the same time this is this confused uh, confused me. So and then in the next step, I decided to find a trader who has some proofs. So and what I find was Larry Williams. He had a proof from his participants in the World Cup trading uh, championship of futures trading with his incre incredible performance of eleven thousand percent. Was incredible from. Ten thousand dollars to one one million dollars, uh, a little bit above one million dollars. This is a huge, huge results. But it was only one trader with a proof. I I found only one trader with a proof. This was Larry Williams, and Larry Williams trade is also a trader. Uh, oh, he also use uh, uses um, CUT report for his fundamental analysis so and then this was my turn around point or my start point of my trading career from this point i started to uh, learn all about cut report cut data and uh, also i started uh, my success so so best uh, way to uh, get uh, familiar with swing trading is to find a mentor so this is a very important point because um, if you find a mentor, you can you can save a lot of time and money. So if you want to try by yourself, okay, this is your decision. But mentor also, you see, uh, the trading is a competition. And if you see all the competition, football competition, soccer, or you see also some fighters uh, competition, so sports competition, everybody, uh, have a mentor or trainer. This is very important to have a right trainer. So the next step is make historical tests. For example, you got familiar with uh, trading based on CUT report. So you decided to create a trading strategy. You traded a trading strategy. And then the next step is very important to test your trading strategy on historical data. So this would be your first success. If you see that uh, uh, you did historical tests and you see your strategy um, perform good in the past, this is first indicated that you have a good strategy. Maybe it's not for sure, but maybe you have a good strategy. So, and that give you some confidence. You are in the right way, on the right way. So, and the next step you should to test your strategy and the real real time and real environment and real market so not historical this time real but not with your real money you should do it with demo trading so you can do all the mistakes you can do all the um yeah dumb stuff on demo trading it, because this is for free it uh, uh, doesn't cost you anything so this is very important also to be um proceed or to get a routine on demo trading so and if you see your strategy works also in real trading on demo trade on demo account so then 
you get more confident much more than you was before after you historical tests. So, and this is also next important point. So you tested this in real, uh, in historical, uh, you did historical test. It was, uh, this strategy was profitable. You did it on demo, it was profitable. And the next step, you should try it under real, you should, so you, sh you shouldn't, but uh, it's next step is, uh, I think it's clear uh, to um, to trade this on real money. So because you have all this effort or you do all this effort, not for fun or for free. So you do it to make money. So and the next step, you should make money. So, and this confidence, what you got from historical tests and demo trading, and all this information about your strategy, because you have stats, you know, the strategy, um, drawdown amount of drawdown, you know how many loose trades you have in a row. You, mo you know all the all other important stats if you did your job uh, correct before. So, and then you start to... Um, real trade you start you start to trade uh, this strategy on real money and then you are confident and you have also your stats to understand if your strategy works normal so on or your strategy um, maybe is already broke so um if you if you don't do step two and, st and step three i think uh, and uh, most situations we have uh, the same results after one or two lost trades uh, you will end your trading because you have not uh, you are you haven't confidence into your strategy so and after one two uh, losing trades you will say okay it doesn't work maybe it works but uh, because uh, uh, less of confidence uh, you and you trading before you you make money so and uh, yeah this is uh, um, this is your map or you plan how to to be successful in trading and if you are already successful it not means you can so enjoy your life on the beach and uh, drink drink cocktails so it means you have to invest in your training because nothing stay and the same position so other traders uh, improve them, themselves and uh, trading is a competition you should uh, stay on stay tuned all the time so then invest in your trading get better and better and also i do also some historical tests so um, again and again and if you take a look to professional soccer football player so a football player after winning of the world cup he he have him he has him maybe a break of one month uh, but after that he comes back uh, he comes back to uh, to training and train again and again to stay in the form yeah or to get better so you can do also uh, just one step and now at this point i want to um inform you about our our coaching because we offer also coaching and in, uh, in um, swing trading based on cot report so in the next step i will to um, tell you a little bit about our co about our coaching program so you can do also just one right step so and this is uh, to decide to find a mentor and to uh, do uh, to uh, to start your trading career with the mentor together this is the best way so it will spend you a lot of money and also um, it will save you a lot of money and a lot of time. And if you are smart and you think of compound interest, you know that it is very important to start as soon as possible to be profitable. Because if you start uh, to be profitable after five years, so compound interest, so uh because compound interest it will cost you a lot of money long term so this is a map of our coaching program we start with theory so in theory we have fundamental analysis we have timing analysis this daily chart analysis so we um 
have target uh, risk and money management, all this uh, technique uh, um, the students learn and they do also homework because we, we want to know how uh, what is the progress of the student. You know? And uh, so we have multiple joys, we have uh, some helps videos, courses. So this is very, um, very good. We do very good job here because this is very important to got understanding of the strategy before you go to the next step. Next step is demo trading. So also you trade on demo. All think what you learned, you uh, try on demo trading, you have checklists, you have trading journals, we check this all. So, and then in the next step, after two months, if we see you are successful on demo trading, you don't do mistakes, stupid mistakes. So you are routine, you do every time the right right steps. So you use a checklist for that. So, and we see all this in your trading journals. So if we see your trading journal is correct, you do correct trades then in the next step. And mostly is that after three months coaching, so you start your real money trading. Also here, you have all our support. So we support you. So, um, and uh, also during this period, it's very important to do historical tests because this increases your confidence and you need confidence in trading. This is very important. So, and um, we support you, uh, we support you and during all this time with webinar about theory, once per week webinar about pra practice how to use this what you learned in practice this I, we talked about our real trades what i did in my trading account so which uh, uh, trade we uh, don't we didn't uh, which trade uh, are not good which trades are good then we have also mastermind and also some sprints so we use also some small groups um, these group, groups come together and do together historical tests uh, during three weeks and then they change the results and speak about results also once per week so we have a lot of um, a lot of webinars and courses you can take part in to 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 have our support or to in to uh, to get uh, the results what we want and the results what we want you are a successful trader after 12 months this is a very important point so why Insider Week? So in my case, many years ago, when I decided to go to somebody to learn trading, it was one important point is um, his proofs. Yeah, because I found nobody in, in web who um, has proofs. So I found only one person, this was Larry Williams. So, and uh, this is why I decided to learn his trading strategy. So therefore, um, when I started my blog, I started uh, um, very important point was transparency. So I show all my plans, trading plans in advance. So I showed it today and did it tomorrow. So everybody could uh, so could understand uh, so that I'm really trader. So I do really trade because I say today what I do tomorrow and the next day I did the same what I said before. So, and uh, our track record is since 2014, you can see it on our website, but this is also, next point is also very important point to get trust or to have, uh, to have proofs. So it was important, first time it was important to me because it was my dream to take a part in 2017 in the World Cup Championship of Futures Trading. And then after that, so I, um, the other important point was to take a part in this competition to have a real results that uh, uh, people um, have as a proof, so that people see as a proof. Because if I take a part in the competition in USA on the CME exchange in Chicago and uh, I got there the results, these results are true because uh, the organizer uh, for one organizer is no matter. I, I can trade or I can, I won't trade, I can trade, or I cannot trade. He uh, showed the results. So he's a third person um, who can um, guarantee the results. You know? For me, it was very important. And I do it again and again to have the proof that I can trade, I can repeat this success. So then 
our training uh, coaching is like driving school training. So in driving schools, very uh, theory is important, but the practice is most important part. And if you take a look at this map, you see theory only one month and the practice is 11 months. So we focus uh, very strong on practice and then next step risk and money management management and is also a very important point because your trading su success is not a hidden strategy or some spatial strategy or something else this is risk and money management most of the time if you don't uh, uh, control your risk and money management you will lose money with any strategy no matter successful or not so we have also proven a successful coaching participants as Alex Kasparite with his combination of CUT data and weather, and also Carl Heinz Rammer. He is owner of a website cut-daten-daten.de. This guy is a German guy, and he has also incredible, incredible results. So we have also money back guarantee. Uh, so we are guaranteed that if you do the program, if you do all the steps correctly, if you do your homework, if you stay proactive, if you stay in contact with us, so then you will be successful. You will have your money back what you invested in our coaching. So in any and many, many other arguments, but we have not uh, so much time, uh, so to speak about all the arguments, but the most important are these five points. So we have also, because we are for um, Christmas, Christmas time, so um, Christmas time um, will occur um, yeah, soon. So we have also some special sales. So we have attractive package prices. So then also some um, systems, how, how um, gradual billings as a gradual billings because we understood also that some people have a big problem in the beginning not enough trust in our trading uh, uh, program so to invest uh, um, all the ima whole amount so on there we can also in this case say okay first first step this amount next step the other amount so if you are more confident in our trading and we have also some bonus programs so if uh, somebody use this opportunity to um, contact us and to, to get from us a good offer so from this webinar very important uh, this person will get some bonus programs so this link what you hear uh, what you see here is uh, the link um, through this link you can contact us you should uh, um, you should fill this form a little bit uh, because we need your information about you, about your experience to understand if it's our product right for you, or maybe you should go to some basic course before, and then after that you can start our coaching program. So the Philip uh, will post this link also in chat. Uh, Philip, please uh, post this link in chat, and through this link you can go to this. Um, you can, um, yeah, through this link, you can let us your data, how we can contact you. And one of my uh, team will contact you and we'll speak about the program, about the, uh, about um, how, how it works and uh, answer all your questions about the program. And also if you have any questions uh, about other um, topics, also you can use this link to contact our team. So now I see a lot of questions. So yeah, I see in the chat the right link. Please use this link uh, to uh, contact us. And on uh, the next step, I want to answer some questions what I got in the front uh, through email. But uh, we have not so much time, but I will do my best because, uh, because yeah, we have, I think we have so 10 or 15 minutes uh, because then next webinar will start it and then I have to end this webinar, but we have 10, or 10 minutes for questions. And um, so here's a lot of questions. I try to be quick to answer also other questions what we got in uh, chart. So first question uh, is about uh, why we have different uh, performance. Um, in the beginning, we had very good performance about uh, 
So doubling of account uh, during a year. And now we have a performance about 20%, something like that. So, And the answer is very simple. If you start with a small account, it's much easier to take more risk. Because if you start with, with $14,000 and uh, you take a risk and uh, you lose all your money, to start again with the same account size is very easy. You say, for example, you Harley Davidson, so you got $20,000, $25,000, maybe $50,000, so you have money for your trading account. If you trade 600,000 account and this account, this account size is all your money, so this is very difficult to trade a, a big uh, risk on this account. And therefore, you try to go with the risk uh, down. So because um, if I made with this account, for example, 20% per year, it means I have $120,000. So here in Europe, $120,000 annual income is enough money. So enough money to uh, cover all your costs and also to have some money to reinvest. So, and therefore you say, okay, I am good with 20, 25% because uh, this is enough money to me. And you decrease your risk and you try to don't uh, risk so much money. So, because to lose 600,000 account, this is a very big damage. If you lose all your money, so, you can't sell a motorcycle to, yeah, maybe there's some motorcycle for $600,000, but if you want to get the account size back and this amount, $600,000, maybe you should sell a house of the mother of your wife. But this is also not a good idea because then she will move to your home. And therefore, <laughs> this is not a good idea. So. Yeah, in this case, um, if the account is big, or you try to uh, trade with the low risk because the, uh, the sum, so, uh, because you are, you are happy with uh, 20% too. Max, um, uh, yeah. there, are, there are also some other questions in the um, F&A sector. Um, because I think I, I don't know if it's um, uh, if it's good to answer all these questions here, or better to go um, answer the questions which we have in the chat or in the F and H sector. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good idea. Uh, I answer here one questions and then I will uh, answer the questions from the chat. Okay, only this one. So. Yeah. The other question is about uh, why we, um, for example, we have the same. We have a signal at the same time in two markets, silver and the wheat. And we decided to trade wheat instead of silver. And the uh, question is why, why so? And this is technique what we train in trading. You can explain it at, uh, in five minutes. You should train it because we traded 40 liquid markets. So, and uh, we sometimes we have uh, in the same time maybe 10 new signals we have also old signals they are uh, also not uh, they are also you can use also old signals so and then you have a pool of 20 markets what you can use for your trading and then to find uh, but you should take only four or five markets to your watch list because or on your watch list because because you focus if you take few markets, you stay focused and you can trade this market correctly. You can calculate correct your risk. You uh, you don't miss entry patterns. But if you have too many markets on your watch list, you have not focus. You have not a strong focus, and then you missed entry points, and then you forgot stops or orders or something like that. Uh, uh, you do a lot of mistakes, yeah. and here to to um, understand which market should go to the watch list. So this should be trained week for week. And that's what we do in our coaching. And our coaching, we decide week by week. Every week we do the same. We decide from 20 markets, which five we, we put on our watch list. But this is a process that you should learn week from week. This is a 
practice. This is not theory. So, okay, um, the other questions I can't answer because I have to switch to other questions to the people who are in this webinar today. So, um, maybe... Um, I can read I can read the yeah, questions yeah, yeah. and do, you do, answer. Do. Okay, do it. Okay, um, uh, please highlight your risk and money management process, especially on the initial stop loss. So only what we do when we got triggered and um, how is our risk and money management um, process? So I think here's two important points about the position sizing. So we, um, I don't use uh, the same risk amount in each trade. So I have my matrix so of a, a special situation, for example. So my, it's, it's uh, how, um, how good is, the setup. This is the first impact. So how good is this setup? Is the setup good? I take more risk. So for example, setup or trade in weekly trend direction, more risk. Against weekly trend direction, less risk. Then the second step is to check my uh, trading account, the equity curve. Uh, we are on the all-time high, also more risk. We are on the... We are on the... Um, in drawdown, this is very important, decrease risk because we, if you are in drawdown, so you have impact on your uh, psychology. So, and uh, if you have impact on your psychology, so you should also avoid bigger impact. So, so you decrease the risk to have, um, to, uh, to decrease the pressure on your head. So, there are many factors that uh, impact uh, the uh, size. And then after we enter to the market, so we move, we move our stop and decrease um, our risk very, very quickly. Um, also, it depends on mar market action. So if we have big, uh, big candles with uh, big movement, so we have enough space between current price and our stop, so then we, we can say, okay, so we can decrease, uh, decrease the risk and move our stop. So, so, yes. but, but, so, so for the coaching program, this, everything is like a hundred percent clear. Um, also the risk and money management, because this is one of the most important parts. And, um, yeah, we have a clear strategy also according to the entry pattern and, and yeah. yeah, we train all this technique in our coaching. So we have the uh, learning videos. We have also exercises, homework. So it, uh, it's very, um, so we train the, this very, uh, very uh, uh, good. So next uh, question, please. Yes. Can we use TradeStation um, with Insider Week Indicator Pack uh, to trade your COT strategies? Um, if not, why? Uh, could you repeat the question, please? Uh, can we use TradeStation for the in so, uh, Insider Week Indicator Pack? Yeah, we use Trade Navigator, you know. So, um, and um, TradeStation, we can't also to um, translate or to um, program the indicator because we are not uh, fit in TradeStation. Yeah, we use all, all the time Trade Navigator. But if somebody who are in a coaching program and uh, he see the code of the indicator, for example, and he's, uh, he has knowledge how to program it in uh, TradeStation, yeah, could do it. So um, I have some indicators in TradeStation, so for TradeStation, but not uh, all the package. Mm -hmm. uh, um, next question, how many hours a day um, do you need to do the course or the coaching? Can you do it alongside a full-time job? You can do it in full-time job, but uh, this is very important, the consistency, you know? So you can do it, for example, on the, um, on the weekend. So um, if you prepare your plans on Sunday, so I did it on Sunday, for example, because uh, when I started my trading career, also I started my coaching, I was full-time worker. I worked in the company from the morning until the evening, so, and, uh, but I wanted to trade and I wanted to learn. And I did it on the weekend, on the Sunday. I told to my family after, um, after evening, uh, in the evening, please don't uh, touch me. So I have to, uh, to work for my future. So I learned it once per week. But during the week, I did only in the morning before I worked 
I did also some historical tests, but it was also what I love because historical tests are interesting things, things what you do. And it is very important to be, um, uh, to stay on, you know, to do it on the regular basis, not you do it uh, all the day and then you have a break of uh, five weeks yeah, and then you come, you come back and do also all the day. Uh, it's better to do it every Sunday, a huge part, and during the week also small parts. For example, historical tests or the, some homework. But yeah. uh, I think also in the evening, uh, you if you are a future trader, you should go in the evening to your um, screen because you should check the market on the daily basis. You know, you are sitting on your screen in the evening and you you check the course or the prices. So and then after that, after you finished your work, so after you placed your orders to the market, it takes 15 minutes under the week. It's a very short, uh, short time or it's not so much time. And after that, you can, for example, do something for the coaching. Maybe uh, 15 or 20 minutes is enough during the week, but in the weekend, uh, weekend then huge part, uh, two or three hours. This is uh, it's what you can do. Mm -hmm. um, another question, um, which tool do you use uh, to do historical tests? So I can answer this. Yes, Trade Navigator. Yeah, Trade Navigator uh, because Trade Navigator includes uh, this historical tool that this is like a player, so you can play uh, all the uh, all the uh, bars back and so, and then you can simulate the real trade. You can put the orders into the market. It's very good, uh, very good tool. That's enough. Yeah. Um, then there's a, a longer question. Um, I know that many COT traders, also Larry Williams, are using spreads. For example, uh, yeah, the difference between front contact and following contract. Um, so, um, but I saw that you are not using spreads. Um, may I know why? We are using spreads and uh, Philip can can confirm that so we are we don't using it public so we use it only in our coach yes okay. um uh, a question about cot signal um do you uh, do you disclose the formula behind um, it in the book coaching program or does it remain proprietary in coaching is everything open you got uh, uh, you 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 got all the codes, all the uh, indicators, all the rules for signals generation, everything. This is very important because our goal is in, in coaching is that you you are successful after two 12 months program. You should be able to trade by yourself, so alone without us, you know. And you should have all the stuff, all instruments. In your hand to do it by by yourself. This is a uh, we um, our goal is to make you independent. So in twelve months, so, and uh, this is uh, this is what we do. And therefore, we uh, give you all the technique, uh, all the indicators, all in your hand, and you do it by yourself. And uh, after twelve months, yeah. Okay. Um, what is the difference between uh, the COT and the champion strategy? So COT1 and COT2 strategy. So the difference is that um, this strategy is uh, specialized on um, certain market situation. For example, COT1 works well in the range market and most of the commodities expect last uh, uh, year um moved in their range so and this strategy uh, works very well on the range market now we did some extension to this strategy also that this strategy works good in the trend market so but the cut2 strategy is focused only on trend market so and the cut2 strategy used a very short term movement so and um to profit from the short term movement so for example they have some movement in the markets and uh, in the CUT2, we don't wait until correction. We go out of the market after two days. So this is very short. And this, the uh, big difference is that we have in CUT2 much more trading opportunities, much more patterns to go into the market. 
And if you want to use CUT2, you sh your focus should be trained. So you can't use CUT2 without trained focus. So you will do a lot of mistakes because a lot of training opportunities, you have no knowledge how to combine right watch list, uh, which market you should go, which market you, you, you shouldn't go in. So therefore, um, CUT2 is for more professional, more trained traders. So therefore, we um, don't sell CUT2 as a loan strategy. Uh, because uh, we realized this is uh, too um, too di difficult, maybe not the right word, uh, but uh, people who people who don't trade have big troubles with this strategy because so many signals and uh, so many markets, so so many entry patterns, and the people who done with CUT one who complete the CUT one strategy are able to use CUT2 strategy in the right way and the maximum uh, and they have maximum profit from that. This is our experience and uh, we, uh, we have also confirmation uh, from uh, coaching participants. Okay, um, then um, maybe uh, the last uh, three questions. Um, I think because um, time we is running. We have two minutes. We have two yes. minutes because then other webinar will start. Yes. Um, um, do you combine seasonality and COT to trade a pair? Um, yeah. Uh, what's what's mean to trade a pair? I don't yeah, know. To, 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 to trade, to, yeah, to enter a trade. Do you combine seasonality and COT data to enter a trade? No, no, no. This is a this is a technique, not a, a timing technique. So this we used it only to find uh, um, the market on the daily basis uh, uh, or the, the trend on the daily or the right point on the daily basis. But then on on sorry, we use CUT date and seasonal trend to find the um, market on the weekly basis, and then on the next step we use technical analysis of uh, uh, entry patterns to find the right timing. So it means CUT report and seasonality is not timing tool. This is a big mistake what the most of the people do. Um, after opening a position, do you hold until a counter signal occurs or do you hold a fixed number of days? It it's, uh, depends on the price action. If we see a very good movement uh, so in the market, so and we use also some targets, target technique, so and we see also some market uh, maybe start a correction, so we try to avoid correction, go out of the market, something like that. So on the, um, or you, you can also stay into the market. Um, you can so also stay in the market and hold correction. This is uh, your choice, you know, but uh, not everybody is able to stay in the correction to the market and to give all the uh, gain or all the um, open open win uh, back to the market, you know. So therefore, it uh, um, depends on um, price action. So we should finish, Philip. So if yeah. you have any questions, uh, uh, so what I uh, don't uh, answer, I didn't answer, please contact us through this link. Uh, uh, Philip, please uh, send this link uh, again to chat yeah. window, yeah. also answer to the people. So guys, thank you very much for your time. So, you know, time is the most important thing in our life and uh, I, did all uh, my I did all for that that you um, didn't spend uh, the time for or you spend the time for well you stuff and I hope you enjoyed this webinar have a nice day hey uh, so have a lot of luck with the training but not luck training this is the key risk and money management and training this is the key for trading success so see you and have fun see you next time thank you bye bye.